Breaking now, 8,071 new COVID-19 cases reported in Ohio in the past 24 hours. That's 970 more than were reported yesterday and a new record for the state. 41 patients also died. That's up six from yesterday's numbers. Those admitted to hospitals also increased from 238 yesterday to 298 today. Our positivity test rate today is at 12.9%. A month ago, it was 5.4%. Thank you for joining us. New strong words from Governor DeWine today, who says the state is facing a monumental crisis. He made the comments in a tweet this afternoon about a situation that's getting more dire by the minute. There have been more than 100,000 new COVID-19 cases reported every single day for the last 10 days in the U.S. Yesterday, more than 160,000 new infections nationwide. Senior health correspondent Monica Robbins tells us all of us need to heed the warnings now. There are 370 COVID patients in Cleveland Clinic right now, 75 of whom are in the intensive care unit. Dr. Eduardo Morales is the director and says his patients are not whom you might think. It has been moving uh, towards a younger age. The, the 40s uh, is, is now more prevalent than we were, what we were seeing at the beginning. Like every hospital system in Northeast Ohio, healthcare workers are exhausted. At the clinic, more than 600 are out because of COVID or on quarantine because of exposure. The hospital halted non-essential surgeries that require beds through next week, but likely if this trend continues, other hospitals will soon follow. Friday the 13th, not a good day for Cuyahoga County. It hit a record 500 cases, and now the county positivity rate is at near 15 percent. This is not a sustainable level of cases, no healthcare system in the world can, um, you know, can absorb this. So clearly something needs to change about our behavior. Health experts are calling on all of us to do our part to limit the spread. It's something that cannot be denied. This exists. It hurts people. It kills people. The mask is the simplest thing available. It's a simple ask. Wear the mask. And that's from somebody on the front lines. And I want to stress that these medical folks have learned a lot in the past 10 months. And more importantly, the hospitals are safe. So please do not hesitate to seek emergency care if you need it. The emergency rooms are safe, ready to handle an influx of patients, but do not put off help. We saw too many cases of that in the spring, and people paid dearly for waiting too long to get the help they needed, Laura. That is certainly true. Senior health correspondent Monica Robbins with the news we can certainly use right now. Monica, thank you.